I just made it back home and I got a call. Carl crashed his Bugatti. That's that's a two million dollar Bugatti crash. What? <laughs> I like speed. Carl actually got into a little incident with his Bugatti. It is right over there. It has seen better days. I went very, very fast. I was, can I say that I was racing with a friend a little bit? Maybe. Maybe, Maybe I was racing with a friend. <laughs> it's, 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 it's not proven. It's not proven. It's not proven. And then there was a speed bump that I couldn't see because I was going so fast. Yeah. And then, Bugatti was literally in the air and then boom, flying. I wish yes. we had that on footage, you know? <laughs> I like Mo's first reaction. He's like, man, I wish I could have filmed it. Cars are made to be used, right? And sometimes you crash. Shit sometimes happens. You... Exactly. That's that's what I think. This is why Carl is so successful. He's just so happy all the time. Even if the worst thing happens to him, he doesn't care. It doesn't that affect him. Yeah, guys, actually yesterday I lost $2 million worth of Luna. You know that I'm Swedish and this is a Swedish hypercar. Koenigsegg. This is gorgeous, guys. The color just pops in your eye. This is one of the most expensive hypercars in the world. Five million dollars, crazy, crazy. But actually, look behind you, man. This is an iconic, legendary, classic Ford GT with classic colors and everything. This is actually a crazy investment, I think. I think if you buy this, it will just pop up in value in the next 20, 30 years. Wow, guys. Oh, <laughs> this is the crash Bugatti. Guys, this is my first time ever seeing a Bugatti without the front bumper and it just like sh shatters my heart, you know? The problem with the Bugatti is it's very, very low because it's a hypercar, so every single speed bump, it's very hard not to touch. Look at this. Oh! So that's why you have this, right, Jorgen? It helps a little bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happened to the Bugatti. This is the, this is the uh, color of the speed bump, white and yellow. <laughs> you take the whole speed bump with you. And new bumper is 70,000 dirhams. So $25,000. $25, so it's got cracks all over, so that's the reason they actually yeah. need to swap it out. My Bugatti is my daily driver. I'm using it every single day, so this is inevitable. Some people, they think their Bugatti is too nice to go driving. All right, guys, uh, it's, been a, it's, it's been a stressful day, but that's the Bugatti. Don't worry, it's gonna get fixed. All right, guys, so right now, we're gonna put my Bugatti next to the Koenigsegg. So for that, we have to rearrange some cars, and my Bugatti will come. Wow. That sound, guys. Guys, look at that. That's a beauty right there. Behind Mo right now is one of the most iconic cars ever created. It's the Rolls-Royce Phantom. Everyone knows that you're the boss. So why did you buy a Maybach? I want to stay humble. That's the thing. <laughs> what? Bye-bye. <laughs> See you. See ya. Lock the doors. Go, hustle out, hustle every single day. I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave. Put a system, I don't want to be a slave. I've been doing shit my way. Only one in the UAE. Only one in the whole you eat. Yes, this is incredible. Auto house. Good Guys, people. They the take best. care of my Bugatti, they take care of my Porsche and my Maybach. The last car I want to show you guys, they have a very rare Porsche. I have never seen something like this. It's actually like a race car. This is where they put the fuel in the car, right in the bonnet. It's a 911 GT3 Cup MR for Mansai Racing. It's basically a fuel tank in there. I can start it up like this. <laughs> They taught me that over here, if you see like I'm, I'm squashed, I have no space at all. How I escape now if I'm stuck, there's a trap door, like an emergency exit, which is up here, if you see there's a window. Yeah. So I can launch this open and I can escape freely. Now you know.